Namaskar. Hello and a very warm welcome on CIET and CRT's very special live phone-in program. And this is a series on ET and ICT tools. Well, today is a Wednesday and uh, we are here with our uh, with one of the tools that is Zoho Notebook. And the topic is collaboration using Zoho Notebook. Well, what exactly is so special about this particular notebook which is called Zoho? If you know all the details or there is any doubt which is in your mind, then please raise your doubts. We have an expert in our studio and she'll be more than happy to answer all your doubts, all your questions. I'm Tanvi Kurana and you're watching right now our program on eVidya channel number 6 to channel number 12. And uh, you're also watching us on our YouTube channel which is NCERT official. In the live chat box you can write down your questions, queries and share them with us. Till 5 o'clock we are here live. And uh, if you have any doubts and you want to email us, the email ID would be training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in. If you want to give us a call, the number would be double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. So there are multiple mediums through which you can connect with us. You can be a participant in this particular program. Without wasting any more time, let me please introduce to you our special guest for this program. And she is Miss Shelley Singh. A very warm welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am is uh, the head of the Department of Computer Science and she's from Army Public School, Noida. So let's begin this conversation and uh, ma'am, it's a pleasure to have you in our program. Let's, uh, I have a few questions regarding Zoho Notebook and uh, I would like to know all the details regarding this notebook and uh, would you like to share the details with our viewers who are the teachers, who are the students and uh, how can they use Zoho Notebook and uh, they can add it to the children's knowledge. And uh, even not even teachers, students, even you, yeah. as in, uh, you know, when we work on very small things, right. uh, we need to keep a to do list. We need to do, we are multitasking these days, right. it's happening. So, Zoho notebook is like another, the other notebooks, and it will be more easier and convenient for us. It's a way where we can keep various records. Okay. So, it is much more feasible, very much user interface, the friendly interface, UI. So these things I'll be dealing with today. Absolutely. So <laughs> shall we begin? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very good evening to everyone. Today I am here. I am getting this opportunity to deal uh, to deal with the interface, the notebook. Basically, we as a teachers over time, we have uh, understood after uh, this phase that how important the hybrid learning is. And uh, with this hybrid learning, how important we need to blend our technology in our teaching. Even for students, they can easily blend their uh, the learning with this technology. So there are n number of notebooks, if I say the Dropbox, Google Keep, and uh, we have um, Evernote, we have OneNote. Those who were, uh, those who will be working on, those who are working on the MS Teams uh, interface or the environment, they must be uh, understanding the usage of OneNote and the mic uh, Microsoft Teams. So basically, there are n number of uh, interfaces are there in the market. What exactly our interface, our requirement is? If we have n number of alternatives, we can simply decide how we need to go with that particular application. So just to give a brief insight of the Zoho notebook, Zoho is basically Indian multinational cloud-based software, uh, which works with the, the cloud suit, cloud-based suit, and uh, the applications which uh, are available in the entire suit is uh, the, some of the important applications are uh, the Microsoft Word, the Word suit, word processor or the spreadsheet or there is a presentation. There are a number of things, things that we can use uh, irrespective of the topic which I am dealing with today is the notebook. But notebook, why I am dealing with the notebook today is because it is a requirement of today's world and in our this era, in our this forte, we, we really need some assistance while we are teaching. So Zoho notebook, if I see, um, it's a pocket sized notebook which you can carry in multiple devices, whether it is your tab, whether it is your mobile or if it is a laptop, you want to take it to for teaching. There are a number of things that we need to uh, integrate together when we are teaching. So this is here the Zoho notebook about I'll be dealing with. 
So, uh, we are on slide? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, the digital e-note uh, e notebook uh, is required these days across all the devices. Suppose you are uh, not on your uh, desk and you have your mobile, you quickly need to scan something for your class. Immediately you can scan, you can upload. There is the collaborative learning. I'll be telling you in the coming time how exactly we need to deal with that uh, irrespective of the uh, PPT. PPT will be available to you after the session also. So this is basically a cross platform where the devices, uh, window based, Android, iOS, Mac, anywhere, everywhere you can use this. And uh, with the uh, one more feature that is web clipping tool. Wherever you click, web clipping tool is the excellent feature of this Zoho notebook. Web clipping tool, what happens is whenever you are onto that screen, any web page, you can just take a clip, you can, as you, uh, you have taken a clip, you can just put it, put that screenshot, it will be customized in your notebook which you are using it, so uh, which you are creating it. So this is the URL which uh, we'll be using, I, I would like to show you how it happens. This is the notebook, suppose what you have to do simply in Google. Zoho notebook. So whenever you are coming to a Zoho notebook, what you have to do is you have to sign up. As I have already signed up with my email ID, so it will directly ask for the access Zoho notebook. I can access my Zoho notebook if I have already signed in, but if you have not signed in, you can sign up with any of your email ID and email ID, the sign up email ID which I have taken here is apsncsip at gmail. Probably this is my a normal email ID, normal Gmail, which I'm using for my regular work, for my students. So this Gmail ID I have it attached, you can see various icons. These icons are the basically notebooks, which you can open it, you can create it. If you want to create a notebook, uh, my mouse pointer, the plus notification is there. You can click on that notebook. You can create a new notebook here. Here the first, uh, that caption which comes, the graphics which comes is the change cover option. You can change the cover, whatever cover you want to upload. If you want to go for uh, any, uh, um, the images that you want to put it here, you can do that from your system or you can simply take any of the cover. Once you click on the upload, that cover can be changed on that notebook. Here n number of things you can add as in, uh, Suppose I have selected this image and uh, this one. This image, I have just created a new notebook for you all. And uh, if I would like to show some of the things which I have already done in this notebook, the normal image, the normal image can be taken here, can be inserted. There are n number of things, a uh, normal audio. Audio, this audio I have recorded from my mobile phone, which has been synced from my mobile phone and the laptop, the web based. So there are two versions in the notebook that also I will be telling you. There are PDF you can uh, merge, you can integrate the PDFs, any PDFs if you want to put it as a content or you can take any MS Word file. This is a Word file which has some content. You can take any Excel file. All these files you can take it probably uh, this is some excel file any excel file that you want to um, share as in your lesson plan this is just an image so all these things how will you be able to do I'll tell you now there are some various uh, there are various options in this notebook the icon which you can see is the notebook and when you click on this icon this is a place where you install your note cards what you have to do is these are four captions write, picture upload, any to-do list, this is a any to-do list. Suppose normally we feel in the morning time I have to take, uh, I have to take today attendance, the next period I have to go for some practice, any practice session, any AV session I have to take. So any of the to-do list you can create and as you click on the right key, this note card will be added here. So this is the first thing what we can do. Next option is the writing. 
writing suppose i want uh, i want to teach something probably uh, i'm as i am from the technical background suppose i want to teach functions functions i have given a title to this notebook i want to I, if i want i can write here something anything i can do i can play the text i can type any text i want to insert an image i can insert the image here and there are various captions there are various icons which you can use uh, suppose i want to add this image there's a image which is added any link suppose i want to add a link this geeks from geeks link suppose i want to add it in my notebook what i have to do simply copy paste i am as i am here showing the difference between the network link url click on the link url what about this link difference between that can be your con content you can definitely take care of your content and the link that you want to share just copy paste insert so if you see the caption which you have typed the difference between land versus man that caption will be displayed and as we click on this link we can open the link in the new tab the same link i have opened so these are some of the very shortcuts which we can do it in our uh, this writer coming back to later on i'll be telling you about how we can collaborate also inserting direct image suppose i want to insert direct image i don't want to take it in any note card i can add this direct image you can see my mouse control i'm clicking on that right icon it's done this is the image that i have inserted right now so separate images can also be added draw this is very interesting tool what happen these days when we go for a online classes the evening classes probably or the offline classes what happens we need screen so this very user friendly screen if you can see the pen styles the, there are three pen styles which you can use is suppose uh, i want uh, right now i am typing it from mouse that's the reason you might not be getting that accuracy but yes uh, you can get that accuracy when you are working with the digital pen this is a second kind of uh, digital pen that we can use suppose this is the width of the pen so you can create your own notes this is not just the live notes you can create your own notes with the normal digital pen stylus there is one more option which you can use here see this is this is one more option that you can take so these are some of the things which we can do in our writing pad erase eraser we can use if you want to erase a certain bit and or if you want to erase everything you can go on to erase all just click on the erase all the entire content will be erased so this is what we can do this is the very important uh, topic of the notebook this was our notebook if you have seen we have created three things here draw we have done attach ab here any file can be attached whether it is a excel file or whether it is a pdf file anything you can attach here say i am trying to attach an excel file so if this file uh, it's done within a seconds this excel file can be attached and every the entire content is visualized here so at times what happens in our notebook is uh, why do we need it n number of things we need to share it with our students which can be done easily with this uh, in, uh, in this format and moreover we we can also share this thing if you can see if you want to see some note card information tax these tags are basically certain words through which you want to use you want to search a particular note card note activities whatever you have done in this note whenever it's not today whenever you have done a particular activity here you can do you can just understand what changes you have done with your note card 
then note merge we can merge two notes we can lock our notes we can put the pass codes there we can lock our notes we can copy this note card to some other notebook we can move any note card suppose we have created a note card uh, in uh, a particular notebook where we feel that this note card is to be uh, moved to somewhere else we can do that also we can print our note cards these all facilities are there a collaboration suppose i want to share i want to share my link this note card through mail or suppose i want to share it with some i just want to share this link with anyone else if i i am clicking on the public shareable link you are about to make this note visible to everyone do you want to share note with this public yes if i want to share it publicly i can do that i can copy the link i can share via mail suppose i my mail is share via mail suppose i want uh, to share on my some other id this is it and just click on send the mail sent successfully so i have received that mail this is just now i have shared a notebook here when i click on this link as this id is already on the notebook i can see i can collaborate i can change so n number of people can also work on that with the teachers with the students or interdepartmental everything can, can be done here now there are few coming back to my ppt this is what the salient features i have already told you the brief introduction i have given you this notebook is available for desktop and this notebook is also also available for your window so the presentation the demonstration which i was showing you right now it was the notebook for windows though i have my offline version also that can be downloaded and that can be uh, used integration of resources in a notebook these are some of the as i already explained to you what kind of integration we can do it in our notebook is uh, we can include any ppt we can include any word we can add any uh, pdf any excel any image any video any audio anything we can make it here and that makes a integrated platform uh, for this uh, application i can attach i can draw i can add the images we can also personalize our notebook the customizing notebook when we are customizing our notebook there we can change various colors we can add our text the notebook uh, which i have shown you where we can uh, create our we can add our links we can add our table so there the background colors are also can be taken care of so this is how we can work with our customized uh, note cards and then these features uh, i discussed with you to open a note card to if we if we want any information if we want any uh, we want that notebook to be shared suppose a particular notebook to be shared by any user with any user or but we have to take care when we are sharing a notebook that time the user should be a registered user of the this notebook if the user is not a registered user that user won't be able to see your notebook because notebook is something an application of a zoho so zoho ask us to create our own id as we create our, uh, our ids on the gmail as we create our ids on yahoo or we create uh, we use various interfaces microsoft teams also we use so what happen here is when you are not creating when we are creating a user id the gmail id or the zoho uh, mailbox we are creating id we are a registered user of that particular interface and we will be able to use that notebook free free of cost and one more thing i would like to tell as as uh, i already told you zoho uh, is a cloud based the cloud suite the office suite which have n number of applications where the notebook is free of cost so what happens here is probably the revenue generation will be coming from different apps but as it is more flexible uh, they are giving us an opportunity to work with the spreadsheet their zoho spreadsheet their word processing tools their the normal ppts that we have uh, uh, we can create we have created that can be taken here 
from Evernote, we can take all our notebooks directly, we can import all our notebooks from the Evernote directly to the notebook. So these things are available here, sharing of the note, note card, public shareable and the mail. You can either use the public shareable link or you can mail it directly to the email ID. If the particular email ID is not there in the, uh, not a registered ID of the this uh, Zoho, then it has to be registered. Otherwise, it will, will not be able to use that notebook. Collaboration, I, as I said, you can add in this free, the basic version, you can add five members and you can use 5 GB of this space. And just the, what we have to do, just we need to share the notebook link through which a particular end user can use your notebook. Notebook Web Clipper. This is a very interesting tool. I would like to take you back to the website Web Clipper. So, ma'am, um, um, regarding this Web Clipper, I would like hmm. to ask you uh, hmm. that is this Web Clipper available for all the browsers? Or? Yeah, all the browsers. Okay. Web, Web Clipper is just a wonderful tool. Okay. And uh, suppose if you say Firefox, you say Internet uh, Explorer. Explorer or if you say Google Chrome, Opera in, in fact. Okay. Every web browser you can use this uh, web paper, okay. every web browser. So there's no restriction as such? No restriction at all. And this is the beauty of this software. Okay. There's a beauty of that software, any devices, hmm. iOS or if you say the uh, any uh, devices, Android, iOS, hmm. Mac, anywhere you can use it. Any platform you can use it, okay. any browser you can use it, and this is the beauty of this uh, app. Absolutely. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, I have one more question here. Yeah, so please. when you were drawing and mm. you were erasing certain part, mm -hmm. so um, if someone wants to undo it, mm. can they do it? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. I just tell you. Sure. This one? That's the one. This screen you are seeing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suppose, suppose if I have written this, yes, I want to erase, I can go here, I am just increasing the size, okay, and then you can just erase, you can do this undo, and in fact you can do the mm. erase all, yes, now yes, you, can do. you want to uh, mm. get it back. What you have erased? Achha, control Z. Actually, this is cloud-based software. Okay. What happens here is, when we write something, suppose if it is saved, yeah. and within that time limit, if you have not done the control Z, it cannot be undo. So ah. then, because it is being stored, it's all being stored on the cloud. It's not on our hard disk. Right. So this is not a local drive. Okay. So this is what happened. If you are not, uh, you have not erased it uh, that particular time and it is. Have you worked in the Google Sheet ever? Google yes. Sheet. Yes. What happened once suppose we have made the changes mm. and uh, if for a while we are not working on that sheet, yeah. what happens? It auto save. It, it goes on the auto yes, save yes. mode. So, if so this is something. I use the offline mode of this version. Then there you can do. There we Haan, can do. Because, because that notebook is on our system. Right. And the beautiful thing is that whatever you are doing in your mobile, hmm. I have shown you the screen here. This is my mobile screen. If it is, uh, if you can just show it to our user. Yes, absolutely. This is the mobile screen. Okay. So this is what this particular software is there in the mobile also. This particular software is there on the web also. So if I do any changes on the mobile, mm. the ref changes will be reflected back there. Right. So this is, uh, this can be done and I'll show you what exactly I have done there. Okay. I have added a uh, audio because audio recording is not available here on the web version. Okay. But audio recording is available in the, uh, on version. the mobile version. Mm. So what happened? I have uh, just added and... So which version would you like to recommend our teachers here, online version or offline version? Online version is much better because see this audio, yeah. the third icon if you can see, yes. this third icon, the audio wave I have recorded from my mo mobile Okay. and automatically these are synced, this mm. is as this is cloud based these are synced, so mm. if it is synced, whatever you do in different devices it will be coming here, right. it will be affecting here. Right. So I normally recommend the online version because it is more feasible uh, and you can use it anywhere, uh, wherever, wherever you want. Okay. okay. 
So I was just telling you about uh, what is web the web clips. clips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you mm. also said initially that we mm. have to make an account on mm. uh, Zoho. Mm. Um, is it mandatory? Yeah, it's mandatory. Okay. This is mandatory. Without creating an account, actually, they won't be able to identify us. Right. This is the main screen which will be coming, zoho.com slash notebook. Okay. So, as I have logged in already, mm. so every time I am getting access Zoho notebook. Right. So, if a person is not logged in, mm. the person will be getting notebook for desktop option, mm. notebook for web, this is Web Clipper. Okay. So these basic things are free of cost right now uh, as our interface. This is a Web Clip. Clip the web. So these are the notebook I have told you. One more thing that I would like to explain is um, mobile versions. This notebook can be accessed if you can see these options if you can see it is available. I will show you online also. These options are, are available with Microsoft Teams, Google Drive and any of the that uh, suppose Dropbox everywhere the Google workspace you can take all these uh, content mm -hmm. the slack also this is integrated application in the Zoho pl platform uh, integrated application when I see integrated application means the notebooks the uh, Google sheets or the show if you can see this icon the sheet option is there the show option is there the word option is there we can use all these the Zoho writers and everything there itself integrated application in Zoho platform Zoho writer is an online word processor that allows you to it's normal in uh, uh, Google Doc kinds and where you can collaborate you can edit your documents these all things can be done Zoho show is a free online presentation that lets you create collaborate publish and broadcast presentation for any device uh, um, for any device, device when I say device is your mobile device or the laptop, wherever you want to play it, you can create a presentation as well as you can, uh, in, uh, you can import a presentation, you can create a presentation by your own. And then if we are talking about the Excel spreadsheets, we work on the Excel spreadsheets, we work on the online Excel spreadsheets. So Zoho sheets are having the compatibility with the Excel work, uh, spreadsheets also. So the beauty of this is when we are working on the Excel uh, spreadsheets, uh, whatever uh, spreadsheets, whatever data we have worked with, those data can directly be imported there, collaboration, the collaboration can be done, the sharing of the data can be done there. And excellent feature is Zoho Mail, email services that I was telling, the email services we are using, the email services are basically what uh, we are using, the Gmail email services, we are, there are a lot of email services we use these days, even if we create an account in MS Teams. In MS Teams also, we have uh, the registered user IDs if we are creating, if as a teachers we are creating a MS Teams or network. Then also we create a number of email IDs for the students, for the teachers. So those email IDs can also be accessed. That is also a ID where we can create, uh, where we can keep our data, where we can uh, interact as we used to do it in uh, uh, Gmail. So this Zoho Mail is also an excellent Gmail, uh, the email services which we can work and the free version, the Zoho Mail does offers a free version. 5 GB of storage we can use as of now, but probably if the company go beyond that, we can work on that. So what are the basically steps to uh, create your uh, Gmail, entire organization's Gmail account, uh, the email account. So first of all, verify your domain. Verify your domain. If I come on to, I, I would like to show this screen. Verify your domain. 
the very first screen you can see welcome to zoho mail create organization create personal email account so if you want to go for the organization email you can create that if you want to go with your personal email account you can do that as well so in this case what i have done i have created a domain the organization network where our domain is mentioned the name is mentioned the sector is mentioned and the domain verification will be asked once the domain verification is being done you are set you you can you are good to go you can work on that after verification of the domain once the domain has been created that means once the platform has been created after creation of the platform we need the users we will be adding our users we can import it through the csvs file or we can add users at individual level also then we have to create a mx records for our receiving to receive the mail because we need to configure when we need to receive the mail mail when we need to send the mail we need to create our mx records and after that migrate your emails to the zoho email so this very wonderful uh, platform the interface this is again a uh, entire uh, this topic is itself a uh, individual topic but i just wanted to give you an insight of that these all are the features which are available which you can use <coughs> i would like to show you one more thing related to the app which i was telling you it will be much uh, easier for you to understand this is my page when i click on the up arrow key the top most page you can see these many uh, icons in this also if you can see the sheet the google sheet this is the show the powerpoint the notebooks work drive work drive is the excellent feature i'll show you in my folder also i have also created my zoho work drive so what work drive i have created it is being uh, there what all stuff i have added it is there in the my folder if someone else has been shared with me it will be coming in the shared folder so work drive i have already synced it up so i'll show uh, i would like to show you the email which i was just explaining create domain based create personal email accounts suppose you want you can give your email account then once you create a email once you have given your email with which email you would like to link with then after that you can just successfully you will be getting your uh, inbox uh, added this is sheet it's just like if you can see uh the spreadsheet kind of thing new spreadsheet can be created once you click this is all free of cost there is no extra charges to use the spreadsheets this is a normal excel if you see the ui it's a normal excel we can create it suppose we have created an excel here we can save it and then suppose we are coming back suppose this is the excel that we have created untitled spreadsheet it's already been created we don't have to save it suppose i want to import i want to upload something uh, any import from your cloud drives or your local drives upload a spreadsheet choose your file suppose i want to choose my file i can just create it from my suppose this is the file which i have uploaded import as a new spreadsheet or a new template so template is basically when we give a design when we want to use an a structure for a particular spreadsheet we can use a template or if we are just importing an spreadsheet we can do it this way so this is the spreadsheet which i have just now imported so if you see look and feel is something very uh, similar to this uh, spreadsheet coming on to coming back to and this can be collaborated this can be shared by anyone i'll show you the other options the integrated applications which we are having after the spreadsheet suppose we have uh, this is the show basically we have created any powerpoint and this powerpoint we need to import this is the powerpoint which i have imported it we, i have already created it and this can be just imported without any uh, modification what we have to just to click on the play this is how we can work on the powerpoint so this is basically why i say is uh, the cloud based is more uh, convenient for all of us 
as in uh, uh, teachers as in mentors we understand how crucial the data is when the data is gathered onto one single platform when it is integrated onto one single platform suppose this i have added it i want to add some new slide i can add it here also suppose i want to add a new slide the slide is being added whatever you want to write you can just add the content you can make the changes here so all the existing ppts can be used here again it can be collaborated it can be shared by anyone and students also uh, if i leave here it will not be saved then coming on to the next uh, the very important this is the word processing uh, the app this is again uh, any document you want to create suppose this is a document that i have uh, i wanted to share it with my students and this document can be changed also we can do the edits on this document any of the document we can create suppose i want to any document i want to assign it to someone i can assign any document i want to create it suppose a blank document and if you see the interface is completely ms word kinds interface you can, if you want to write anything this is just a spreadsheet how we used to do how we used to compose and this can be reviewed also one more important thing is there is a if you have uh, heard about the grammarly app the grammarly app is uh, can be integrated here whenever you are writing some english that can be checked here this can also be done and uh, once we are coming back to our writer that particular documents uh, suppose any document i have created i can uh, that document i can share it i'll just quickly show you how to upload it uh, upload any document any document any ppt any uh, excel file from the computer from the url suppose i want to extract it from my computer just browse go to that particular suppose i want to upload it here open now writer dot soho nothing is there it's all the data is entirely coming here so this is basically to put a uh, put up the things at our own end how we how convenient we want our things to be done calendars can be set book basically we do not use it as something from the accounting purpose there are 65 apps uh, integrated with the zoho but i would always suggest when you work on a particular platform when you work on a particular interface what happens is when we work on the particular interface we adopt as an habit and when we start working we work reg on a regular basis so definitely what happened we used to understand various features and uh, this is how we work with different uh, kind of uh, the apps which are there already the 65 apps are there but not 65 apps are not uh, all uh, um, the free but freely available app is notebook which you can use it in your uh, uh, teaching purpose there is a notebook icon suppose if you click on this notebook icon all the notebooks whatever you have created very uh, uh, will be displayed very important thing here is you can lock your notebook suppose you don't want to publicly uh, display your notebook you can lock it some of the notebook notes in the notebooks are shared they will be unshared suppose if you have already made it public so it will be unshared suppose this notebook i have already shared it with someone else it will be unshared so what we have to do if i am making it on clicking on the three dots clicking on the lock it will ask for the when i click on the proceed it will ask for the passcode so suppose if i give any passcode it will be logged and then whenever i have to enter i have to enter the passcode wherever if in any interface if i work on when i go to the open that time if it you cannot share it when you go for the collaborative sharing that time it will uh, tell you that this uh, particular notebook a uh, public shareable link you are about to make this note visible to everyone do you want to share it with publicly so if you want to share it with publicly you can you will be able to share it else you have to uh, work with the locking features the collaborative i have told you and uh, the attaching of the file also i have told you here this is also a wonderful 
the work drive as I was telling you by default in the free version if we talk about the these all if you files uh, if you can see these files these are files I have just worked on I have shown you these files on uh, the spreadsheet the writer the three um, apps which I have shown you right now on that I have uh, we have discussed on the um, this uh, sheet then show and the writer so what all documents I have created it there it will be there in the work drive and work drive is again a cloud based you can access it anywhere you can access it in your through your mobile and uh, uh, mobile devices or you can access it through the tab because cloud based but yes it is giving you the limit of 5 GB so what we can do is if a particular session or if a particular uh, quarter we want it to be the notebooks to be shared the notebooks which we need to be used for a particular month we can create uh, we can keep it there else we can keep it in our local drives our google drives google drives we can link our notebooks with the google drives we can upload it there but we cannot make any changes in the google drive as i said ki compatibility we are working on the compa compatibility there are n number of platforms where the notebooks can be worked on but when we talk about the google drive what has what happened is google drive is a different platform and this zoho notebook is a different platform so we can upload for the records archival we can upload the content there but if you make any changes those changes are not reflecting back to your notebook notebook so what changes you are doing in the notebook once you upload it on google drive it will be easier for us to uh, it will be easier for us to retrieve it anywhere so, so retrieval is allowed but uh, the edits are the modifications in the google drives are not allowed and uh, if you see uh, likewise you can if you if you want that uh, the particular file there are list of files if you're going out of the memory these particular files if you want to put it in our archive you can click just click on that particular file you can move it to trash or you can uh, download it uh, download a particular file set of files and you can then move it to the trash so this is what the, about if you keep on using all these apps one by one if you keep on using all this suppose when i come to this one uh, so the important apps which i was telling you if you keep on using the mail the notebook the sheet the show and the writer this will solve your entire purpose of managing your classroom all at once because when we go into a, the classroom what happens is when we go into the classroom we we keep on searching for a, a content as these days we know we all uh, the smart uh, learning is being enabled uh, in our classrooms so when we go we keep on searching uh, for our records ki where, where our uh, the content is where the video is if, it, if we want to show any urls that time it doesn't click where was that url being stored so what can uh, what can be done all the urls can be stored in one note card all the checklists suppose uh, important points can be uh, stored in uh, next note uh, notebooks the content the question answers which we used to discuss the question answers we used to discuss with the, there are n categories of the question answers we discuss with the students after teaching each and every topic so what we can do we can create a separate notebook probably it can be the reasoning based uh, it can be the skill based it can be the conceptual the knowledge based uh, the questions so as many as note cards you can uh, create you can make and you can segregate the things this is now i am telling you i have in this entire session i have told you how to do that what to do that technically the tech the steps but segregating yourself segregating yourself as a teacher is very important in the learning because we all are running out of the time we have uh, the 40 minutes uh, the timeline the 45 minutes timeline for our periods if we have planned earlier if we have segregated ourselves if we have organized ourselves so it will be easier much easier for the students suppose we, we need to give the drill sheets we need to give the worksheets we, we, uh, we need to share the handouts what we need to share what we uh, we are not requiring to share what we need to collaborate suppose we are working on some integrated project some integrated project uh, we have uh, already discussed a case study suppose with the students in the class and we have made a four to five students group now what we what we have done we have uh, shared that particular note cards with those five students when we are sharing that note card with the, those five students they can work on that uh, in the, their evening hours or 
extra time and and we can over, uh, we can check it on our devices also it's not that every time we have to open our laptop to check the things we can just quickly open our uh, mobiles and we can check the content so this is what uh, all about uh, notebook today's awesome, session ma'am um it was amazing mm. to know all the details of the notebook i think uh, all the teachers and students who are going to use it now uh, it'll be a little easier for them to yeah. use it Uh, Ma'am, I have a few questions regarding sure. uh, whatever you said. <laughs> so, um, using it on cloud, mm -hmm. is it safe? Uh, our data will be stored over there. Um, should we worry about the security because uh, we know that there's a lot of mm -hmm. hacking going mm -hmm. on these days? So, um, should we be uh, worry, worried, mm -hmm. or uh, should we have passwords, proper mm -hmm. passcodes on each and every drive? This is a wonderful question you have asked. Okay. I, I will appreciate when the questions like this comes to us, okay. because uh, we really appreciate our students; mm -hmm. <laughs> they are listening to us carefully. So, uh, basically, uh, when we sign into the, when we log in into this account, mm. there is a terms and conditions. Right. Where it has been clearly mentioned, your data is encrypted. Okay. So, when the data is encrypted, encrypted means whatever the plain text is being passed is being stored mm. on their server. It's not stored as it is. It's okay. always in the encrypted form. Okay. So when the data is being passed end to end as an encrypted form, it is much easier. Uh, it's it's very secure. And then the next thing is it's a Chennai based company. I have told in quite uh, the earlier session it is a Chennai based company. The major data centers are there in US, Europe, and Asia. Okay. So and they assure they assure they give the that professional assurance that they are not using your data. For uh, they are not using your data for any ad purpose. They are not selling your data. This is what their commitment is, and this is the beauty for uh, the beauty of this app that security is not an uh, issue here. Okay, ma'am, good to know about <laughs> that uh, because nobody actually reads the terms and conditions, <laughs> so it's it's all that better. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, one more thing. So mm. when you were showing that we can add uh, the um, note cards in. Mm. In a notebook, hmm. how many can uh, be added? How many note cards can be added in one notebook? And also, how hmm. many notebooks can be created hmm. uh, by one person? Hmm. Um, no, maximum number would be how much? Any number of notebooks or note cards you can use. Oh. Any number of notebooks or note cards you can add. Okay. And till the time you are using, as I have al uh, already told earlier, also I have told five GB of space is there. The yeah. basic version is five GB. But even then, at a very nominal cost, you can uh, go for this. Uh, it's just a, uh, uh, I think one ninety nine rupees for a year. You can buy that. So normally it is not uh, required. What we can do is suppose for a particular month. Suppose we are working on a November month or December month. December month lesson plans or the note cards can be uh, there on the uh, uh, IDs and then the notebooks and then rest can be archived. So this is how we can deal with this problem. Okay, okay, that that sounds good actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said that there's a nominal amount uh, mm -hmm. for the for an entire year. So right. would you like to recommend our teachers to go for the paid version? Uh, See, once uh, no, for teachers, I feel we can work on the basic version. Okay. For some smaller enterprises, uh, uh, when the data goes beyond for a month, uh, goes beyond this five GB, they can go for this reasonable amount if they if it is required. Okay. As per their suit. Okay. And uh, ma'am, just the way like we use Gmail, and yeah. every time our storage is full. Exactly, we... <laughs> exactly. There is a 16 GB of space in the Gmail. Okay. And, but here it's only 5 GB. It's a Chennai-based company. We should. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, yes, I am not uh, doing any market for them. The point mm. is that this is the point of difference in between the Gmail and the this uh, notebook. notebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notebook. Yeah, um. Yeah, so uh, like in Gmail, we get a notification that mm -hmm. your storage is full. So your Here also we will get a yeah. notification. Okay. Here also we will get a notification. <laughs> <laughs> and when we say storage, mm -hmm. uh, it could be note cards. It would be a number of notebooks everything, everything. and whatever we store in the drive as well. Everything that everything. work drive is your uh, that entire stuff. 
that's really mm. great, ma'am. Thank you so much for being a part of this program. It was wonderful to have you, and uh, we understood a lot of things regarding mm. Zoho Notebook. And I think I am definitely going to use it, Thank uh, you especially so much. on my mobile phone because it's very very easy and. Uh, I can use those features. So thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful session. And uh, I, I was always uh, into this kind of uh, newly developed apps. I work on these kind of platforms. So I enjoy teaching. <laughs> thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. I'm sure our students, our teachers, they are going to appreciate uh, this wonderful, wonderful program. And yeah, I would request you to uh, watch it again anytime you want. You can do it on our YouTube channel, which is NCERT official, if, in case you have missed this particular program. So uh, we are wrapping up this particular program. So thank you so much for being wonderful audience, wonderful participants. And uh, I think uh, we have cleared all the doubts uh, regarding Zoho Notebook. So now you can easily use it. Please stay here, keep on watching eVidya channels and our upcoming next program is another special program that is Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children and uh, the topic of discussion would be Positive Development of Young Adult. So I have a lot of questions regarding uh, this topic in my mind. You also keep your questions ready and do ask on our uh, YouTube channel again that is NCRT official. Thank you so much. I am Tanvi Khurana taking a leave of you. Take care. Namaskar.